Hey Designaholics, I'm Carrie Lawless. Welcome to our channel where we teach DIY hacks, how to achieve high-end design on a budget, and how to make the most money when you sell your home through staging. On today's DIY, we're gonna show you what to do with a scary crack in the mortar of your brick, just like this. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. make sure it's not a structural issue. In this case, we've already done our due diligence, nothing going on with the structure of this house. It's just some cosmetic and this is just a brick veneer. It's just pulled away a little bit through settling over the last 30 years. So in this case, we are safe to go ahead and fill this in and make it look nice before we whitewash this brick. So what we are using here, we've got some water, we've got a rag, We've got the most important thing, which I should have a link below, and uh, check this out because this is the only concrete sealant I like. I've tried them all, trust me. Okay, this is DAP, the color is gray, and it's called Concrete and Mortar Filler and Sealant. This is amazing, it's absolutely waterproof, and it comes out exactly the color of mortar. So if you do a really good job, which I'm about to show you how to do, it's not gonna show and it won't look like a cover-up. All right, so you are also going to need a caulk gun. You're gonna need something, a little cutting tool to be able to cut off the edge of this. What I like to do is cut off the edge about the size of the crack I'm filling because I don't want the sealant going all over the grout because I'm gonna show you the little trick. You wipe it back off and that's how you make sure it doesn't look like you were covering up something. So we're gonna cut on an angle with this tool. All right. So here's the hole, and it's about the right size. If not, you can always cut it again. Now, you're gonna pull this back, okay? Because this is what pushes the caulk out of the tube. The way you do that is you press the release, and then just pull it back like that. All right, put your tube in. Um, I guess we didn't need to poke a hole, so that was the next thing I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh Lord, anything can happen on this channel, right? Do not do what I just did. Okay, that is a lesson on how to get caulk off of brick if you squirt it all over. So what I was going to say, some of these tubes are actually sealed on the inside. You have to take the end of a coat hanger or something like that, poke it through. I think it's pretty obvious. We don't have to do that on this one, okay? So it's opened up. Now, I'm gonna start at one end. I'm actually gonna start up here. I'm um, moving just a little bit too slow, which is why it went all over up there, but that's what the rag in the water is for. Well, I'm gonna try and get this directed into the crack. So I'm gonna stop here for a minute. When you do stop, you wanna pull this little release back pull this back so it doesn't continue to push the caulk out of the tube. All right, this is what's really important, and you should use gloves. I don't have any handy. All right, so I'm not using gloves. Now, this is the part that's gonna make the difference between does it look professional or does it not? And that is simply wiping off the excess everywhere except the line itself, including the grout. Again, if you're smoothing with your finger, it tends to create these lines. So uh, the other way to get it looking really smooth, so you don't have lines, is just go over it a little bit with water. And again, nobody's going to be looking for this. So I mean, even if you can tell where it was, nobody else can. There we go. All right, I may fill it in one more time because it did sink in a little bit, but that's the basic technique. We're going to let this dry and we'll see if we have to go back one more time. Today's day two of the mortar repair. I am super stoked about how good this came out. And I think if you didn't know where the crack was or if I didn't point it out to you, you probably wouldn't even see it. You'd have to look hard for it. So here's a little crack here. It's a little bit indented, especially like in the deeper crevices, but all we have to do um, is put a little bit more in there and you're never gonna see it. How amazing is that that the color blended in? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. 
And to be honest with you, you don't even really have to do this step. It, some people might think this is overkill, but I'm doing it anyway because I just want it to be as close to the original as possible. Now, I'm going to smooth this with my finger. If the mess bothers you, use gloves. I just can't really feel what I'm doing with gloves. So I've got my warm water, I've got my rag. I'm just gonna wipe around. Smooth it out. Definitely make sure you don't have it on the brick. It's gonna blend in with the grout color. It's not gonna blend in with the brick color. So remember that. You don't wanna have that white haze over it if you're not whitewashing it, which we are. That's another video. You should really watch that. We're gonna show you how to make your brick so beautiful. Look for that video. Um, the other thing is when you want it to be really smooth, just wet your finger a little bit with the water, which my finger is wet. So, um, and that'll help smooth it out and not get those lines in it. All right, there it is. So we're just waiting for it to dry. By the time this is dry, it's gonna all blend in. It's gonna be amazing. My name is Carrie Lawless. Thanks so much for joining us. Please subscribe and ring the little bell for notifications. We're gonna have a ton of great content coming out and we don't want you to miss any of it. And when you do that, you'll be part of the Designaholic fam. Thanks so much.